While the College Board really only requires us to know about mechanical waves, we do need to know about the difference between mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves, so here are a few key differences between the two. Number one, mechanical waves require a medium in order to transport energy from one location to the other. Examples of a medium include air, water, or solids. By contrast, electromagnetic waves do not require a medium, meaning they can travel in a vacuum. Electromagnetic waves are still capable of traveling in a medium, however, but they do not require it like mechanical waves do. Number two, mechanical waves can be split into three categories. The first is a transverse wave. In a transverse wave, the wave is oscillated perpendicularly to the direction of a propagation. An example is when a spring is shaken up and down. The direction of propagation is perpendicular or towards the right. The second is a longitudinal wave, which oscillates parallel to the direction of propagation. An example is when a spring is gathered up in coils and then released. The wave is both oscillating and being propagated in the horizontal direction. The third type is a surface wave. Surface waves are propagated between the boundaries of two different substances. When you throw a penny into a lake, it causes the water to ripple. This is an example of a surface wave that occurs between the water and the air. Electromagnetic waves, however, are always transverse when in free space. This can be seen in the following graph. The electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other, as well as to the direction of propagation. Number three, speed is proportional to frequency and wavelength. The speed of a mechanical wave depends on the medium and the type of wave. However, electromagnetic waves are capable of being in a vacuum. When they are in a vacuum, all electromagnetic waves move at the speed of light, regardless of their type. So yes, that means that radio waves and gamma waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum. Given these three differences, can you give examples of waves that are mechanical and waves that are electromagnetic? Examples of mechanical waves include sound waves, seismic waves, and water waves. Examples of electromagnetic waves include radio waves, visible light, and x-rays. Let's take a closer look at a common type of each, light and sound. Sound is a mechanical wave, so it requires a medium. As sound passes through air, it displaces the molecules causing them to vibrate and collide with each other and later bounce back into place. The sound wave travels through the medium until it reaches our ears, where we hear the vibration of molecules at certain frequencies as sound. Light, on the other hand, is an electromagnetic wave, and so it's able to propagate without a medium or in a vacuum, such as in space. So remember, in space, no one can hear you scream, but they can still see you shine a flashlight.